Never Trumper admits Trump has done more for America than he ever thought possible during the 2016 election season. A number of establishment Republicans and true conservatives declared themselves to be Never Trump, with a stated purpose of never supporting the candidacy of Donald Trump, for reasons. For the vast majority of Americans who may have had misgivings about Canada Trump, the number Never Trump movement ended on November 8, 2016, with his election, but a few have persisted with their hate and joined the left's resistance against the sitting president. Though he may have lagged somewhat behind other former Never Trumpers, National Review editor Rich Lowry has now attempted to extricate himself from that position by publicly noting how good a job Trump has done over the course of his first year in office. Watch as now former Never Trump Rich Lowry explained to MSNBC Morning Joe hosts why he gave Trump an a grade for his first year. I've been wrong about two things with this presidency, Lowry began. One, I though we'd see really unorthodox policy and an unorthodox approach to the agenda, whereas it's been an utterly conventional Republican agenda, with some exceptions. And on some things like energy, deregulation, judges, we really have seen like an A-plus agenda, he added. A stuttering Joe Scarborough was quick to mention that, ideologically, conservatives have long wanted good tax policy, regulatory policy, and solid conservative judges. Dover at hot air. Another never-Trumper who hasn't yet fully wavered from an anti-Trump position is Alec Pundit, who pointed out that despite the failure to repeal Obamacare, there was much to like from Trump's first year, policy-wise. AP wrote, We've gotten tax cuts, some deregulation, a crop of mostly solid judges capped by Neil Gorsuch, the continued eradication of ISIS, and a Dow that seems to set a new record every week. The worst fears of the never-Trumpers have not come to pass, yet, in that there has been no major trade war with China or nuclear exchange with North Korea, nor has Trump governed like a Democrat or tossed aside the Constitution to rule by executive fiat as his predecessor so often did. If not for the tweets, OMG, the tweets. More never-Trumpers might be compelled to shed the never from their title going forward, as Lowry appears to have done. In truth, though Trump may not be a true conservative per se, he has nevertheless assembled an astonishingly conservative cabinet that is implementing an incredibly conservative agenda, one that has unmistakably brightened our nation's future. Through Trump's policies, the military is being rebuilt and strengthened, as is the economy via deregulation and lower taxes, as well as the judiciary branch with originalist constitutional judges. It remains to be seen if the rest of the reluctant never-Trumpers will eventually admit that the president is none of the things they so fervently warned he was in 2016, and take note that he literally saved this country from slipping further into a progressive dystopia under a continuation of former President Barack Obama's destructive policies via failed candidate Hillary Clinton.